This is my first time I'm attending a research meeting. Well, the thing which struck me most was that you find a very good collection of uh, policymakers, researchers uh, from Africa. I look into the conference and I say, wow, I feel, feel very much when I'm in Africa because majority of the people participating in the workshop are from Africa. And even the presentation themselves, they are very much Africa-oriented, something which uh, really struck me very, very hard. Climate change is a problem which is actually affecting Africa the most. As the presentation yesterday showed, Africa, I mean, Africa in, in terms of affecting climate change, it has the minimum impact on affecting it. But it, the, the impact of climate change on the Africans is the largest. So I can see that this theme about uh, climate smart agriculture was very, very relevant to this region, given that majority of the farmers, majority of the people, in this region are dependent on agriculture. What I'm bringing on the table is that I was looking at uh, the profitability of adopting climate smart agriculture and my results are showing very weird results that the more profitable a land management is, the less the adoption. And that's something which I was trying to explain why do we see that? That the climate smart agriculture technologies which have the highest profit more sustainable and uh, they're also very environmental friendly the adoption rate is very low and we are seeing that the reason behind that is that because there is lack of knowledge of the extension agents to educate the farmers about the climate smart agriculture and secondly the climate smart agriculture themselves more than half of their benefits are accruing off the farm so the farmers don't have incentive for them to use them unless they are rewarded for the, the adoption of the CSA. So I was saying that, look, wake up. We need to know the benefits of the CSA so that we can reward the farmers uh, through the payment for ecosystem services. And if that is done, the governments who are subsidizing fertilizer right now can cut by half the amount of money they are using because the CSA actually leads less inorganic fertilizer, but the yields are higher and they're more sustainable. So that's what I brought on the table. So.